Good morning, guys. We are prepping for a hurricane today. Uh, overnight, Hurricane Barrel has decided to move a little bit further south towards Grenada. And looks like we are going to be within the cone of uncertainty for sure at this point in time. So, um, unfortunately, not only has she moved south, but she's gained in strength. We are looking at a Cat 3 now. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't nervous. Friends over on Sailing Vessel Morado have uh, come over to help us take down our head sail. So originally I was just going to wrap the head sail with the spinnaker line and just put an extra wrap on it, but we've got to take the boat out of the water. So we decided last night that no matter what, we were just going to go ahead and take both sails off. You never know with these things. To catch you up to speed, we just sailed into Grenada two days ago where we plan to haul out the boat for hurricane season. We're currently moored here in Prickly Bay, but as we're watching this storm, we're getting more and more concerned about staying in this location. So I think as long as we undo it here, undo it in the back, remove all the battens. Boat's leaving too. Oh yeah. man, another one's leaving. That's definitely uh, a bit concerning. Where are you guys headed? Dog. Safe Pretty travels. Dog. I think we're gonna jump over to a hurricane hole. Okay, be safe. You too. As we take our sails down preparing for the unknown, my mind is filled with anxiety. It's moments like these that make me wonder if I should have taken a more traditional path in life. Should we bail? How does that make you feel? Yeah. A little unnerving, you know, everybody's bailing, it's for a reason. You know, the thing is, I think it's a little too late. This thing's already on our heels. Yeah. Seven boats leaving right now as we speak. Man. There goes another boat. It is 9 a.m. on Sunday morning. Um, we've gotten the sails down. I'm finishing putting all the cushions away inside, anything that could blow away. Cole is just going over to her friends on SV Murado to help them take their sails down. The wind has definitely picked up since we started working this morning, um, just before seven. Seeing all these boats continuing to leave definitely has us really nervous. The whole reason we came here is because in just a few days from now, we are hauling the boat out. Um, one for repairs for our transmissions because we cannot operate the boat properly, but two to put it up for hurricane season. So this is why we are here and yeah, never expected uh, this to come here. <sighs> so stressful. With help here, I can, I can side tie two dinghies and get going. But once I get going, the minute that I put it into neutral, I will not have, rever I will not have forward again. I will only have reverse. There's so many decisions to make with such strong consequences. After a phone call with a friend, we've decided to move the boat to the best hurricane hole in the area. With the help of two dinghies, we're able to get the boat into gear. Yep. Only time will tell if this was the right decision. So we're heading around this other bay, uh, hurricane hole, and we've got other boats waiting for us that are going to assist us once we get there uh, to get in position. So we're gonna put this out off of 
probably off of our um, port bow cleat and stretch it out as far as we can this way. And our goal is to get as many points of contact as possible. So we've got our head, we've got our uh, main anchor out, uh, which we will have on the bridle. Um, then we are going to put out our secondary anchor out to the side of us. Um, and then we are going to um, put out uh, two lines to the back of us tied to the biggest mangrove I can find as I go in there. Um, and that'll give us four points of contact. All right, now we gotta find you a big old thick one. All right. Nice, dude. Good line. Dude, this is a perfect line. You want me to push you in there? Yeah. Did you just crawl in there? Yeah. I got the dinghy as far as I could. Look at that nice tree right there. Just one second. All right. I got a little bit of slack over here too. Okay. Yeah, this is perfect. What kind of knot should I? Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah, dude. I made a bullet, but that wasn't the answer. I just didn't. I mean, you got an awesome branch right there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. If you don't know how to tie knots, tie lots, right? Yeah. <clears throat> there it is. All right, I think that's gonna do it for us. Our friends Billy and Sierra on Tula's Endless Summer just got here a little bit ago. They just came down from Guadalupe and said they saw so many squalls on the way here. Looks like uh, they're taking their head sail down right now. Everybody is hard at work today making final preparations. It's kind of like weird. I'm exhausted because we stayed up so late last night. Just couldn't go to sleep. Just stressed and nervous. But it's like I'm tired, but I can't not do something right now. I feel like I'm just kind of pacing back and forth because I feel weird sitting still. I don't want to sit still because then I think and stress and get nervous like the lull of it all because it's so beautiful right now you like you literally wouldn't think anything was coming if you didn't look at the weather like it literally looks like a perfect summer day in Grenada and that's just so mind-blowing to me it was just like that with Hurricane Ian guys we slept like absolute babies uh, last night it was so calm in here um and it wasn't until about 6 30 when we've had the first like thunderstorms come through and of course dixie right away uh the minute she heard thunder jumped in bed with us and um just started she crawled up in between emily and i but um yeah we had two more boats come in last night uh next to us or this morning and we just got done packing our belongings, um, all of our valuables, and I've got four uh, sets of clothes that I'm packing um, just in case something bad does happen and we have to grab our, our ditch bags, if you will. Um, that's what we're going to grab and get off the boat. Um, Thankfully, there's a dock right next to us that's very easy to get to and from, so that's nice. 
Um, but yeah, there's there's really it's let's see, it's now 8:24, and there's really nothing going on. We've had a little bit of rain, just some bands coming through, um, but we're expecting in the next couple of hour to to really start to feel the effects of the storm. we slept so well it's just the anxiety and stress of the last few days has just worn us out you know not knowing like what is the right decision what do you do and at the end of the day like we have made the best possible decision that we could with the information we had at the time because the storm is just always changing like sure we could have ran to Trinidad but we've had engine engine issues for months and we were low on fuel and we had already taken sails down, so that didn't make sense. And the last thing we wanted to do was get stuck out at sea. After about 30 to 45 minutes, the worst part of the storm cleared. Oddly enough, as I watch back this footage, I feel like I should have been more scared in the moment. But I guess I didn't really have time to think about that then. Once the rain stopped, we took a ride in the dinghy to survey the area. Something in the water right there, uh, coconut maybe? All boats made it through without any damage. We went to land to take a walk and carry on with life as normal. We're thankful for that, but at the same time, we feel a little guilty. Guilty that just 40 short miles away, an entire island was decimated.
On July 1st, Hurricane Barrel unleashed its wrath on northern Grenada, making landfall in Cariacou as a Category 4 hurricane with winds up to 150 miles an hour. Lives lost, homes flattened, and livelihoods destroyed. It'll be a long time before this island bounces back. The people there are strong, but they need a lot of help. Please consider donating to Rise Grenada and the mission of rebuilding the lives of the people there. Thank you for watching.